To all of our brothers and sisters in Christ and those who are new to anything of the gospel of the kingdom, well, welcome, and you're in for a treat, but I tell you, it's going to confuse people. They didn't know that the Bible is a national book and every verse in there is political for our people now today. Okay, and so, well, when you see the news, when you see what's going on, you can understand it a little bit better when you know the kingdom message. So if you want to, you can read about it on our website, www.orthodoxchurch.nl, or you can get on our Good News of the Kingdom e-newsletter, which you can subscribe to as well from the same website. Then again, that's www.orthodoxchurch.nl. We are Watchman News. I am reporting here from the Priory of Salem headquarters. It's in the area of the Salem Plate in the northern part of Arkansas at our beloved Ozarks, the great land in the center of America, a great place of safety. We're looking forward to the regathering going on out here to continue to grow and, and do what it should. And we're also continuing our ministries in the UK and in Europe. We want to welcome our brethren in South Africa and Australia and South America as well. We have a special report for you now from the south of Africa. And this is a brother who's uh, just been telling us like it is and he sees what's going on out there. And right now what's going on is the police have been shooting mass amount of people during this COVID and wage you know, disputes, of just killing black people left and right. And then they go on to say that they need to support George Floyd. It's just total hypocrisy. So I hope you enjoy this little clip. I'll look forward to sharing more with you about the kingdom message. Take care. Now you can also reach us on our normal email addresses if you need further information. You can, if you are converted, you can worship together with us. Our full liturgy of the English Orthodox is on our website, www.orthodoxchurch.nl. Yes. We'll see you soon, and on our e-newsletter, I hope that it will be a blessing to you. And the more Watchmen videos that we can get up with our many correspondents, our many Watchmen in Christ, who are great reporters all around the world. Take care, and God bless you. Good day, all. Um, I decided to make this video. Uh, my name is Johan Celia. I'm a white young farmer in South Africa. Um, we all know the situation in the U.S. where big riots uh, took place because of the death of George Floyd. Um, now, in the meantime, the South African government has called for Black Lives Matter um, protests throughout South Africa. The leader of the EFF uh, <clears throat> proposed that all black people do a protest march uh, in solidarity with George Floyd's death in America. Now what's very sad about this is that, uh, and I've made a list and it's quite shocking and I would like to read this to you. On uh, 16th of August 2012, 3,000 black mine workers were protesting because of uh, wage disputes. The South African police services then killed 34 of these mine workers in cold blood. 78 of these uh, 3,000 mine workers were injured. Now, it is so ironic that uh, the South African government calls for Black Lives Matter, yet Marikana, which I just explained to you, not one person went to jail because of 34 black people killed. The South African government are a bunch of hypocrites. 28th of May 2020, Mr. Koza was killed by the South African National Defense Force. 
The article reads, uh, Mr. Koza died because of blunt force trauma to the head. Now this is the same army or the same national defense force that was supposed to protect people in COVID-19. Hypocrites. Total, absolute hypocrites, the South African government. If you drive around South Africa, you would notice informal settlements. Millions of South Africans live. Black South Africans, white South Africans live in poverty, live in shacks. Yet our government says white, uh, my apologies, black lives matter. You bunch of hypocrites. You looted the state. You stole so much taxpayers' money that you are not able to provide basic services such as fresh water and toilets to your own black population. Hypocrites. Absolute hypocrites. Julius Malema wrote an article, well, he actually made a video <laughs> saying that Black Lives Matter. Yet, <laughs> he has not contributed towards COVID-19 relief. I did not see him dealing out food parcels and actually assisting the voters that put him into, into power. Then to come to my last point, being a white farmer, is that white lives also matter. Between 2010 and 2019, 596 farmers were brutally murdered. In a lot of these uh, farm attacks, very little was stolen, very little was taken. That gives us a, a round number of about 66 farm murders every single year. And this now excludes 2020. Um, I do believe that the last four months we had a big rise in farm murders. The attacks from 2010 to 2019 is estimated at about 2,874 attacks. That's an average of 300 and 20 attacks per year. That is almost an attack on a farmer every single day in South Africa. Our government are hypocrites. They say that black lives matter, yet if you look at the poverty rate within the black society because of corruption, because of abuse of money, because of abuse of power, you are hypocrites. The South African government are hypocrites. How can you march for Black Lives Matter, yet your own people are living in poverty? Absolute, absolute hypocrites. To have a country where you have 320 farm attacks per year. The same people that employ black people, the same people that feed black people are being killed at the rate of 66 murders per year. And you say life matters. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely shocking. The South African government, the EFF, and I will call them by their names, you are hypocrites. You are so rich. Our politicians in South Africa are super, super, super rich because of corruption, because of self-enriching, because of being politically uh, connected. Yet, the same voters that voted for them that are black are dead poor. You hypocrites.